So I was just editing the following video you're about to watch and I realized I never ended it. And that normally isn't such a big deal, but um, I realized I never actually showed, like recorded the finished pie. So I have pictures. If you wanna see the full blog post, you can click on the full blog post and you'll see pictures. Hello, and welcome to another vlog guest of some door sort of day that I'm not quite sure of anymore. But today we are going to be making pie crust. I am horrible at making pie crust, or I shouldn't say horrible, I'm just inexperienced. And my mom is about to give me more experience. So, join the vlog. <laughs> my mom's gonna show me how to make pie crust. She said it's loosely based off of the way cooking right. recipe. Yes. Okay, so, but there are tweaks. Okay. There are details. Everything has to be cold. I actually freeze everything. So you need two and a half cups of flour. In your food processor. In your food processor. And a, some salt. I don't ever measure it. A pinch? More than, More a, than pinch. a pinch. A big pinch. About Got like it. That. Boop. There we go. Everything sweet needs just a little bit of salt. And it needs about a tablespoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. There we go. Then I always just put it on. Darker. Yours is quieter than mine. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then much quieter. Okay, then the booter. And you have a stick I of unsalted. Right. And some shortening. A half a that's a half a cup of shortening. Half a cup of shortening. And I like to buy it in the sticks because I'm lazy and it may, it's really messy to measure. True. <laughs> Very true. It's got the handing measuring. And don't be afraid to cut the butter up small because this is where your the steam comes to make the fluffy crust. Ah, this may have been my mistake in past what? times. It's not cutting it up small enough. Yeah, I, I, they say chunk it up, but I cut it up almost like a dice. And it kind of flakes up too because it's frozen. Mm hmm. Well, it, it flakes apart. It takes a say. few minutes. It won't be frozen when you put it in the oven, but it'll River. still be very cold. Okay, thank you. Mm hmm. Put that in. No, half of this, a little of that at mm -hmm. a time and mix yeah, or just put dump it, all it in. We are different. talking high work here. This is just really simple. But somehow okay. I've managed to mess it up. <laughs> Takes experience. Now this, Not necessarily talent. That's right. <laughs> well, I learned to do this from Aunt Twyla. Ah. Not, at, uh, not the frozen part, but she's the one that taught me the other secret. <gasps> it's a family secret. <laughs> yeah. Put the top on and whiz it up. Whiz or pulse? Well, pulse it. Pulse it is both, probably. You have to get it going. You have to do it so it looks like key size things in there. So don't be afraid. Go for it. <laughs> okay, let's see what it looks like. Uh -huh. Secret tip. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Does it? Like sand. Yeah. So it looks like okay. wet sand. Wet sand. For those of you with little kids. <laughs> yeah, okay. Then, uh -huh. turn it on. This is a third plus a tablespoon of cold water with ice in it. You don't want the ice to go in, however. And you may not use it all. You have to kind of decide. Do like the third cup first and then maybe well, a tablespoon. Well, go put most of it in and stop for a second. And if yours is like mine, it'll need to be knocked down and pushed back in. Yeah. Yep. Because it's bounced up the sides too much. And you just have to take, take your time here and make sure everything gets blended well. And don't hurry putting too much water in it because... What would too much water be? Make, make it, too it too sticky. Too sticky. Mm -hmm. This is probably where you need the pulse. Kind of let it go and see how it's looking. Are you wanting the big, are you wanting the big chunks? That's not actually a chunk. That's starting to form dough there. Okay. So with the little granular pieces, we're trying to get the granules to go into the, into the dough. It's just a little more water. And you might not use all that water. So that's what you have to play around with. Yeah. And you stop it and start it and push it all together. And you got, see, it's very cold. So it's, yeah, this feels good. Okay. See, I didn't even use all the water. Despite what the recipe and said. And it's not sticky. It's not sticky. No. no. Now. Now comes the hard part that I've just, I don't think I can is, do this right. This is the other big secret from Aunt Twyla, who was a wonderful baker. 
Not a great cook, but a really wonderful baker. That was apparently not genetic. Okay. Things don't pass down. Mm, not a fun bit. Baking is just tiresome to me, but. <laughs> okay, off it comes. Then you just take this, watch your fingers from the knife. <laughs> That's particularly for you. <laughs> the girl, the only person I know that did themselves in on the grater, Food not process. on the processor at the time. No. No. It's a special talent. Yeah. So you want to push it together. Don't don't handle it too much though. Just kind of push mm -hmm. it together. Make a nice little disc out of it without a lot of cracks and things. Get it kind of formed up. And then wrap that little baby right up there. And I sometimes will handle a little bit with that. And I don't get no extra flour is required there. Just because you're wrapping it on the wrapping on it on the cling wrap already. Cling wrap. Because okay. I'm getting this, I'm going in. So here comes the other side. This is going to be a blueberry pie. Michigan blueberries. Michigan blueberries. The last of the season. Mm -hmm. The last box known to <laughs> known to the area. Yeah. <laughs> Was what a 20 pound box or something crazy? No, only 10. <laughs> well, 20, 10. There. Let's close up. This is the bottom. And the other one will be the top. This one's a little bigger, see? Got it. Nice and see the little flecks of butter in it. Oh, indeed. Indeed. Now, I in a garden will make it very smooth, but I don't see any purpose in it. Huh. It's going to be consumed. Now, what these do, they go mm -hmm. into the refrigerator for at least 20 minutes. I leave them for even an hour. And they can be there for days. The longer the, and <laughs> the, longer the better, but no. Well, the, target say, at least an hour. At least an hour. I think they need an hour. Okay. And there they go. <laughs> This is all mainly for my reference for the future. <laughs> so I can cue this up later, but you just get to join along. It's so much easier. <laughs> and that's not much to clean up. No, see? And it's a good thing I didn't help because now I can itch my nose. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. So it's six cups blueberries to a quarter cup plus two. Yeah. Two tablespoons tapioca. And how much sugar? Ooh, cup and a half. Cup and a half. And then our two doughs. Woohoo! Pie! We're making. Six cups of blueberries. Yeah. And then I like to take my six tablespoons of tapioca. And the tapioca is to thicken. To make thicken. a juice. Uh-huh. And mix it in with the sugar, the half, one and a half cups of sugar. And it's good to mix it before because then you're sure it's spread out well in your... That makes sense. You don't want any, any blobs in there. Bloppy looking things. Globs. Globs of... Okay, let me just pour that in. And then it takes about a, um, a tablespoon or a little more of lemon juice. It just kind of wakes up the flavor a little. Balance out the sweetness of yeah, the maybe. blueberries? They're pretty, they're not real sweet, so. <laughs> I just had one about the last of took the my head off. Not all that sweet. No, not always. <laughs> oh, here goes. In here, I need to pile it out. There we go. Okay, woohoo! Woo We're done now. No, oh, mix a mix a mix a stir these guys up a little bit while I and move over there. <laughs> the one thing I'm allowed to do, I can mix and then we're gonna start working on the dough. The dough is nicely chilled, it's been in the fridge. Might, well, and it might require an angle change. What happened? What happens with the, when you put the dough in the refrigerator like that, it, the starches and the flour soak up the water, and mm -hmm. that's why it's better. Okay, this is why I like plastic grat. You're not adding any flour. Flour toughens the dough. Like mm -hmm. And we don't want a tough dough. We want a nice, pliable, but good dough. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think my... Mistakes in the past have been over flowering the surface so it yeah. wouldn't stick when I was rolling. And even though I have a nice cold countertop, I still find this is beneficial. A better method. For me. It well, is for me. And it's not messy. It's not messy. This is a non messy cake. Pie. Well, that's right, we're making a pie. Pie. Not there cake. We go. Okay. Kind of give a little, get it started. I'm going to keep it round. Now, when you have a lot, a lot of butter in a pie crust, don't try to roll it out too thin. A lot of people do, and it just makes a problem. Why make it hard on yourself? Huh. Well, I like, I like a thick crust. 
Well, not too thick, but you don't have to go too thin. Right. This pan. Nope, not there yet. It's got to be. It has to be pretty big. Oh. And, and this is why this is. And save this for the other piece. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, start fresh now. We Just don't want to waste. No waste. Oh, and this is why it's handy. There you go. N okay, now here's something about pies, too. Never shove them down in. Lift and let them fall in. Because if you stretch the dough too much, they shrink. Ah. So, lift and tuck it under. Lift it up. That's, and that makes it much easier when there's plastic involved. Yeah. Yep. Just right off. And lay it down again for the top. Dun, da, da, da. And then flip, a couple guys flipped up this little spot we'll fix in a second. Here we go, we got this all it's nice. The blueberry. The blueberry filling. Some people put thing, other things in it. You can put whatever you want in it. Mm-hmm. But it's just good to have with berries something that's going to be kind of clear, and that's why I use tapioca because it's clear. Well, I was just about to ask the: is there a difference between brown sugar and regular? Oh yeah, I wouldn't use brown sugar. Brown sugar has still some molasses in it. Oh, true. And it changes. It's rather strong. Blueberries, you want to keep it. Now, in an apple pie, you might want to put some. Um, brown sugar in, mm -hmm. and that would be fine, but I don't bother. Here we go. And now we're going to do the top. I like to smack it around a little. <laughs> Show his spots. <laughs> venting is important. I like the smiley face venting myself. No. No, I don't do a whole thing. <laughs> oh, you mean like that? Yeah. Not the little three hashes. Yeah. No one this way. Ah, there. Excellent. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> I mentioned that pie baking with a house full of people is even more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Much more gab going on. Much more gab. Gabby. It's exciting. Uh, pie is in the oven, or will be in the oven. 400 degrees is how long it is baking. Yeah. So yummy, yummy, yummy. It's I'm excited. Bubbly. Until it's bubbly. Bubbly, 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 and brown on top. <laughs>